Welcome Aries. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the minute using the Lover's Oracle. It doesn't mean that it's a love reading per se. Um, and if it turns into that, then it is what it is. Okay, so we're also using the Mystical Wisdom cards and Light Seer's Tarot. All right, let's get into it. Okay, Aries. Lover's Oracle, uh, all over the show from me prepping them and I didn't straighten them up, so just bear with me for a tick. But let me say to you, Aries, if um, these messages don't resonate for you, check them out a little bit later, okay? Or look at your other um, placements in your birth chart to see if there's a message there for you, okay? It's not always going to res resonate with everyone because they are general readings, so just be aware of that. Okay, right, we're sorted. Sorted.com. Here we go. Aries, three cards for Aries, please. Three cards for Aries. <coughs> There's one. Two. Two. I'm going to put that one back then because those flipped out better. Then that second one. Okay, Aries, what have we got here? What have we got? This card here, it's called Playfulness. <clears throat> Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Okay, so if you're not in partnership at the moment, this could be with your friends, but this is really about you having fun. Okay, and we also have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Interesting. Okay. And this card here, which is don't make a decision based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So true. So true. I love that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> playfulness for Aries. Let me clear my throat. Okay, Aries. Playfulness. Two cards for playfulness for Aries, please. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Hmm, so maybe some of you have been having issues. We've got dreams. Believe in your dreams. <clears throat> One more card for playfulness for Aries, please. One more card for playfulness for Aries. I haven't used, actually, aside from the light seers, I've never used these cards before. So this is going in blind, but I like doing that because I love to see what I get. <clears throat> so first card here is dreams. Believe in your dreams. And I have a feeling here, Aries, that you had an idea of what um, you wanted a relationship to look like with somebody, okay, and um, potentially, um, it may not have worked out that way, but I do want to say, what I'm seeing here is a new beginning, okay, and um, whether this is in a relationship, it could actually be a new beginning for yourself. Here's the thing, Aries, is that we... Um, we tend to pour ourselves into other people so much that we lose who we are. And I do want to say here to remember to always come back to yourself, to always make sure that you are nurturing the relationship with yourself before you're nurturing any other relationship outside of you. Okay, um, whether that be, you know, romantic friendships, whatever, even, you know, with children. Okay, because we can only give what we've got and if we're not refueling ourselves then we have nothing to give okay so two cards for dreams for Aries please wow that is three cards but let's take them because wow they jumped out my talking's really funny right now I, they jumped out um wow wow and wow um we've got the king of cups the queen of cups and the magician this is what you're dreaming of. This is, and here's the thing, right, Aries, oh, dang, um, is you you keep manifesting this, right? 
dream believe in your dreams believe that you can manifest this if it hasn't come true for you um it could be like i say pouring into yourself for a bit right because you're only going to attract what it is that you're putting out there so being aware of what it is that you're putting into your cup okay um, but this dreams is you manifesting what it is that you want for yourself okay and even if this is um, in your dreams you know um, visualizing you having fun together and all that kind of thing that's a really good vibration to be um, putting out there um, <clears throat> and it's it, this is the thing right it doesn't always come exactly when we want it to so um you know, there could be other things that you need to release or um, work on before that is able to come in for you, okay? Potentially more healing to do. Okay, so we've got <clears throat> competition here. And it says, summon courage and self-confidence. <clears throat> and while my throat's going all funny, it's been fine all day up until now. Competition. I really feel like Aries, this is about you standing in your own power, regardless of who and, um, you know, kind of what energies are around you. OK, um, it could be that you feel like you have to compete for somebody's love. And I want to say if that is the case, Aries, um, then I would be seriously considering whether that's the right person for you. OK, because. To me. You wouldn't have to do that if that was your person. It would just happen easily and effortlessly. Okay, so two cards for competition for Aries, please. <clears throat> two cards for competition for Aries, please. Oops, it just fell out. The tiger is really drawing me in here and the um has it's like his focus is set on something and um but the thing is that if the tiger doesn't get it he walks away and he goes um you know looks for the next um opportunity I suppose right so he doesn't he doesn't let it get to him because he knows that that's okay there'll be another opportunity <clears throat> somewhere along the way okay so two cards for competition for Aries please three cards again interesting okay so we've got the page of swords here and the five of cups and the page of cups okay so um I feel like you are learning to let go of what it is that you need to let go of because um, this actually here reminds me of the magician card of of learning how to actually manifest what it is that you want you know to manifest this here okay because we've got the page of cups and the page of swords so I feel like this is you learning how to do this and, and also learning about you and what your truth is what you truly want not necessarily what you may see or <clears throat> excuse me Aries what some what people portray in their life to be the case right because I, I want to say here especially about social media is not everything is as it seems right um, but we can always always look at someone else's relationship and think that they've got it all, they've got it made, but we never see what goes on behind closed doors, you know, and so um, always be aware of that. The important thing for you, Aries, is for you to be focusing upon yourself, okay, focusing on what it is that you need to let go of, all right, um, and, and, and concentrating on what it is that you can build for yourself, okay, so the next card here is wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. <clears throat> okay. 
weight. Two cards for weight for Aries, please. Two cards for weight for Aries, please. Don't rush into it. And that's just it. It's sort of like, you know, especially talking about the competition here, you know, of um, making sure that you're not just rushing to get, you know, to maybe be with someone for the, just for the sake of it, that you're actually considering, what is it that I want? What's in my cup? Does the cup match mine? You know, are we compatible? Actually seeing all that kind of stuff, you know, and healing what it is that you need to heal because the last thing you really want to do is have your own, own um, wounds being the deciding factor as to why you're actually with somebody or wanting to be with somebody. Okay, so intuition. Trust your intuition. Yes, Aries, I feel like you know deep down inside whether this person is for you or not. Okay, and um, also what it is that you need to do for yourself in order to have in your life the relationship that you dream of. Okay, so intuition. Two cards for intuition, please. And, and I'm talking about relationship, but, you know, you could apply it to career. You could apply it to your home. You could apply it to um, your belief system, your, your, you know, whatever areas. Okay, so intuition. Here we go. Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. Yeah, Um this is the thing, following your intuition, right? Because, again, you have this dream, you know what it is that you want, and you know your, your intuition will tell you whether it is there or not, okay? And it will also lead you to the places that you need to go in order to fulfill all your wishes, okay? So always trust that, Aries, always, even if it doesn't necessarily make sense at the time. Okay, we have seven deadly sins is the other card here. Humanity's destructive traits. Hmm. Yeah, I feel as though there's sort of like this cleansing that needs to happen for you and looking at the things that are keeping you um, sort of tied up, I suppose, in a way, distracted maybe, um, whether that's, you know... It could be anything. It could be, you know, being on your phone. It could be um, alcohol. It could be, you know, binge watching something on Netflix, um, shopping, you know, anything. Anything that's used as a distraction. Clear that stuff away, okay? Because ultimately you deserve to... Um, to live life to its fullest, okay, and this is what you are here for, so when we're talking about weight, don't rush in, into it, allow nature to take its course, by clearing away all the things that are not serving you, Aries, allows nature to take its course, when you've got all these things that are not serving you, um, then nature has a really tough time getting through, okay, and also, it's very hard to hear your intuition when there are these distractions or you're not in your um, authentic state of being, right? So if you're using any substances to um, cover things up, these, these are all things that need to be cleared. But it's not just a simple thing of necessarily like just going, oh, we'll just stop doing that. There's an underlying cause as to why you might be doing that, and that is what needs to be looked at. And then automatically, the need to do whatever it is that you're doing to provide the smoke screen about the truth that we don't want to face, um, it's a lot easier for us to move away from that. Okay, so two cards for seven deadly sins, please. For Aries, two cards for seven deadly sins. Just trying to get the right cards here, Aries. Tell us more about seven deadly sins for Aries, please. There we go. 
three cards again. This is pretty interesting. Three cards are all coming out. The Emperor. Here you are, Aries. Look at this. Standing in your power, right? Standing in who you truly are. The Emperor of your, of your empire. Right, you don't need anything else as this distraction. You, you're not just the king of cups here. You are the, the emperor. You're so much more than that. And I kind of have the feeling for some of you that you don't give yourself enough credit. Like you kind of keep yourself small in a sense to go, oh yeah, no, I couldn't be the emperor. Maybe the king, but not the emperor. Right? And so I feel like this is about you really making that choice to... Um, stand in that power of who you truly are and um, and to go along the journey because at the end of the day this desire to manifest what it is that you want to um, to choose what kind of life that you want to grow um, you know it takes wisdom it, it takes um, perseverance you know it, it takes courage you know Aries but the thing is, I think once you understand what your worth is and understand who the F you are, there's no going back. You will not accept anything less, you know, but it is kind of sitting through, wading your way through the waters of what it is that um, is holding you back from stepping into this power, okay? So, next card here. I, I really do like this card here in the message. Okay, two cards for this card. doesn't have a title, but let me read it as I shuffle. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only, it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. That's right, Aries, and that's standing in that emperor energy, right? Because it, it's kind of like you do this world a disfavor by not stepping into who you really are, you know, because you've you've got um, this life mission to achieve here. So if there's heaps of things that are distracting you from that, those are the things that really need to be focused on, um, being worked on, and healing that underlying cause like I said before okay dragonfly here live life to the fullest yes Aries because once you clear out everything it's a lot easier to do that it's a lot easier to just go through life unapologetically being who you truly are right um and this is you know being true to yourself so two cards for dragonfly please and I feel like, you know, Dragonfly, it does represent um, new beginnings and, and it's, it's sort of a more authentic way of being, I feel. Going with the flow of life, right? Going with the flow of who you are, Aries. Okay, two cards for Dragonfly for Aries, please. We've got, okay, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. And one more for Dragonfly for Aries, please. There it is. Excellent. Okay, so Seven of Swords here. I feel as though, Aries, this is <sighs> shedding light on, on the deception that you have caused yourself, actually. Shedding light on the things that you tell yourself to kind of justify the space you're in right now, maybe. Um, or even in the past, where, you know, it could be, for example, say, um, someone's drinking too much, or they're using alcohol, for, this is just an example, they're using alcohol to cover up um, the pain that they feel inside, but they kind of justify it by going, it's okay to have a glass of wine a night, There's no, what's wrong with that? But the underlying cause of that is actually to cover up what it is that they don't want to face, right? Um, and so it's it's shedding the light on that because here's the thing. I feel like these things are really screaming at you and it's kind of like you need to um, 
push it down more and more and more with whatever you are using to do that. Um, and, and look, it can be anything. It could be something that may seem really healthy, but too much of anything becomes unhealthy. Everything in moderation here, Aries, okay? And we have the Hierophant here, yes, because this is going to get you, once you let all that go, and be honest with yourself, Aries, um, you are going to travel that path to where you were meant to be going, okay? Um, and the Hierophant here, he travels this path without even walking the stairs. He sits and he laughs because he knows exactly which way he's going you know this could also be um divine guidance or you know sort of like there's something there's a blessing for you i feel there's a blessing for you and it's it's like the universe is just waiting for you to clear out that old so that you can be gifted it's kind of like the way will then become clear it hasn't been clear but once you do that aries and once you stop deceiving yourself and lying to yourself the way will become clear and you will be away laughing. Okay, and the last card here we have is friendship. Nurture your relationships. Yes, exactly. This could 100% be about friendship indeed. But, you know, even in a romantic relationship, you know, ultimately being friends with one another, first and foremost, is the most um, stable foundation to build upon. Okay, so... Yeah, I love this, but also it's important to have our friends around us as well. Two cards for friendship for Aries, please, because in a romantic relationship, that person, that partner can never, ever, ever do everything that we want them to, to do for us, you know. They can never be, you know, if this is why we have friends, right? We have one friend who's great at um, having a laugh with. There's another friend who's great to have a cry with. There's another friend who's great to go and party with or go to the movies with or whatever. You know, everyone serves a different purpose. So to believe that only one person, your romantic partner, partner could be all of those things is um, it's unrealistic. And we also cannot be all of those things for our partner either. So, yeah, it's kind of about getting real about things, I suppose, right? Two cards for friendship for Aries, please. And also, I want to say that this Aries is looking at the company you keep and seeing how is this helping me grow? You know, is this actually helping me, um, serving me to grow what it is that I want to grow in my life? So, you know, if everyone or all your friends or all your people that you associate with are... Um, you know, great to party with, but then you want to stop um, doing that partying, are they actually going to be your friends then? You know, so this is what is very important for you to sieve through. We also have the page of wands here. So a lot of learning going on here. Sort of this recreation of yourself in a sense, I feel. Okay. And we have the five of pentacles. So um, I think this is you needing to stand up, Aries, and start moving forward, okay? Moving forward, learning who you are, discovering different things about yourself. Sometimes the journey is rough, and um, but remember your dreams. Remember your dreams, right? Remember these that came out here. Look at this. This is what you're heading towards, and you absolutely, Aries, you have the power to make this happen. You have some incredibly powerful cards here. And um, because you're the emperor, right? You are going to come across your empress, regardless of your gender watching this right now, right? Um, and this is a matter of you learning about yourself in order to bring that in for you. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.